What's up guys, welcome to Paranormal Torch. And tonight I am in a new location. And I don't know how many times this place has been investigated. Certainly I haven't seen it on YouTube as much, but it's an old priory dating right back to all well, the land itself. It dates back to the 12th century. So what I'm gonna do is do an initial walk around uh, with this camera and see where we go from there. So what will we, will we see any monks? Any, any other sort of spirits that may have passed over here? Let's find out. Let's hit it. Dedicated to Olaf, the 11th century king and patron saint of Norway, this small Augustinian priory was founded around 1216 AD. Perhaps something to consider when stepping in this historic building at night, is the message of Olaf, his baptism of death. During the reign of Henry VIII, the threat of closure and destruction had a massive impact on this priory, with many abbeys and convents across England already torn down under the dissolution of the Monasteries Act, this priory was almost all but destroyed. A cottage was later built to the rear, and now what is left is one of the earliest examples of brickwork, and a fine cloister room, to which would have supported, a larger banquet hall, above. Imagine the history these stones have seen, and how many people through time have been here. There is no power here. There is only natural light through the medieval windows. The Priory also has a darker side of history. It is believed there are tunnels here that are now blocked up, perhaps a result of an incident, where many years ago people ventured into the underground tunnels, but never came out. So we've got the main grounds here. What you got over there behind this wall? When I was inquiring about permission to come here, the lady that lives in the old priory um, house where the monks would have lived, it dates back 800 years. Many links to the local uh, towns in the area. Yeah, you can see this is all overgrown grass now. I don't know what it would have been. There's a few signs around that you can see. It should have little signs up actually, but certainly it's got, it's quite big. I guess this is where pillars were to hold up the roof. In. It's obviously an older room. Now remember, as usual, if you hear anything or see anything that I miss, then uh, make sure you leave a comment in the notes below because it'd be great to capture some decent evidence. Uh, it's quite a warm night, 16 degrees actually. Uh, I'm going along the outside here. I believe this walks back through. Yeah, so we can go back through this way. Thought I heard a footstep then, but something in the distance. Animals. Look at these old windows. Amazing. You can see there's an old stairwell here as well. What that would have been. Any of you guys know? Leave a comment. You certainly see where over the years the bricks been changed from repair. Is that wood? Here it is. Doorways. 
this is known of as the post -supp suppression house. Now, speaking to the owner, yeah, I don't want to break that really. She did say I had permission to go up there, but it's sealed off for safety reasons. Bit of history on this place, and that is um, the prior itself. I think it's about the 1500s. Land a little bit before 1200s, and I think it's King Henry VIII. You know, when he battled the church, Catholicism, and all that came about. Um, the priory was just destroyed, or the monastery was destroyed. So. It's had a lot of history over the years. Uh, they claim this place is actually a good example of what one of these flat-roofed priories would have been like, which is up there. Um, but in a minute, I'm gonna go down into the cloister room and you can see below. Really good in there. This old door, look. Wow, that proper iron, would it have been iron? Complete with one day yellow lock. <laughs> AM nineteen eighty. Now that does look a bit modern. So maybe this wall was built in the eighties. Just to structure. Oh yeah, look up there, look, 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 look you can see up there. That roof's been repaired. Certainly. Um Amazing, the architecture. Yeah, and we'll go through here. Hello, don't mind me coming in. So, I don't think that was uh, 15th century, but it's got to be done, I suppose. <laughs> right, okay, so this was an Augustian uh, monastery, apparently. It was restored, apparently, in the 1900s. It's actually bigger on camera than you think. That's what I'll say. So I'll just turn it up a bit, actually, it might be a bit better. Oh, it looks like there's a bat in there. Even the floor, I'm not sure. I think the floor must be quite dated back. Yep, yeah, we've got, definitely got a bat in here. Uh, he's now going nuts. Ooh. I don't want to be hit by that. <laughs> and I'm guessing over here, this is where they would have put candles in there. So. Ah, look at this. This is this. This is good. So I've just the cannon's refectory. So this is what it would have looked like originally. So where I'm standing now would have been down, probably in this area here. I'm actually probably about there, just underneath. So they claim this is what would have been storage as well. Mm. The dining hall would have been above. All above. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is uh, set up the equipment I'm going to use for tonight and buckle down and try and get some activity and see if we can communicate to, with some of the spirits here, hopefully. Are you with me now? 
you mind if I ask some more questions? All right, chaps, so what I'm going to do is um, use the Necrophonic app. Now, it's very temperamental, but many people claim they have a lot of good stuff with this app, so I'm going to give it a go. Can you see me right now? Where am I standing? Say chap. Yes, that's it. Did I say yes, that's it? Your name's Keely. Hello, Keely, I'm Jamie. Do you mind if I ask some more questions? Sure. Did you used to work here? Did you, did you used to pray here? No. How many of you are there? I count five, was that? Something one, sacred one. Am I in danger being here? What is the name of this area that we're in? What's this town? No. Norfolk? Yes, Norfolk. That's not the town, no. What's the name of the town I'm in? What is this town's monastery? Is there anyone else other than Keely here? What's your name? Is that Adam? Derek? Are there loads of you here? Can you see this device on the floor? Can you touch it? Cannot, I cannot. Cannot. You're in fear, it's not gonna hurt you. What are you laughing at? Who's laughing? Is there a witch here? Yeah. Was, yeah. Does she mean me harm? MVP number two. Some others. Are you interfering with my light right now? Are you trying to drain its power? It's really flickering. If you need to drain the power in order to communicate with me, feel free to drain it. Can you turn my light off?
Have you gone? Strange. Fixed this up. Okay, so what I've got here is a old-fashioned tape dictaphone. Um, I'm a firm believer in the old technology of reel-to-reel, -reel, but sometimes it's not always possible to take a reel-to-reel -reel recorder around to these locations. So I'll do the same thing, EVP recording. But what I think I'll do is, <clears throat> as I do it now, I'll overlay in editing what you're going to hear this picking up. So hopefully, if you hear anything, leave the comments below. If you can hear my voice, my name's Jamie, I mean no harm or disrespect. I wish to talk to the spirits and spiritus who are here in this undercroft or part of this priory. Could you tell me your name, please? I'm wondering how old you are. Tell me what year it is for you. Are you standing behind me right now? I don't know what it was. Did you just make that noise? Could you make that again? Do you know you're dead? Do you know you're dead? What year did you pass away? Did you make that again? Did you make that again? Did you make that again? Did you make that again?
ടീണവിയോട്ട് അറ്റായിരുന്നു seances so I have a little bell here not the same type of bell or ringing bell this is a bike bell but you know it should give the same resonant sound Can you hear the bell ringing? Okay, so what this is, you've probably seen these before. This is a plasma ball. Now, the idea on a paranormal investigation is if I touch it, you can see what it's doing. Yeah, so if we can get the spirits to touch it, it might give them energy to help manifest, or it might just be um, a way of communication. Any spirits here with me? Come close to where I'm sitting. And I'm wondering if you'll be willing to touch this ball of light. Just like that. Feel free to touch the ball. Touch the ball just like this. There's a noise to my left then. Touch the ball just like this. Just like this. Touch the ball. Oh, is someone touching it? 
You see that? Are you still touching it now? Touch it again. It's like a slight fluctuation. up guys thanks for watching the episode again paranormal torch i had a fantastic night here at the priory um this has been a few days since that episode was filmed i've actually had a few days to reflect on what happened the footsteps i heard i was on my own the building is not attached to anything there is a cottage nearby but there's no way it, i could have heard people in there inside the priory building so um, and also what was that I caught on the analogue tape? I don't know. So what I'd like to do is hear your thoughts and comments. So if you leave the comments below, let me know what you think of the whole episode in general. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.